Greetings once again, fellow girls, guys, and gamers. This is Small Arcade, and welcome to another episode of a Seven Days to Die Out, the 16.3. Uh, and if you remember, we are down this mine where I have basically passed the night. Uh, Relogging has solved the ground coming up and over the bedroll business. So, uh, I don't know, that's some sort of bug. Uh, I've got us a, a little bit more uh, stone here, so actually I'm going to scrap that axe and then replace it with another one. Uh, because, uh, yeah, that one's pretty much done for as a result. I've made some spores, some mushroom spores, only six, but that'll do us. We've got a couple of coffee seeds, we've got some aloe as well and things. To set up a farm when we get where we're going, um, we didn't have anybody try to get in overnight, which is good, but I did this just to keep out vultures. Ooh, there we go. Managed not to spike myself on there, which definitely helps, because there was a vulture around here. There we are. Now, that's the town we came from, I believe. Yes, it is. There we go. Uh, we're going to remove our quick waypoint. I'm just going to have a bit of a check around. Uh, actually, I'm really, really cold. So, what we should do is get the heck downwards, uh, preferably without breaking my neck. So we'll head downwards in the hopes that that's going to be warmer. I'll just do this a little bit carefully. There we go. Okay. And then this road goes... Well, actually, we want to go that way, and then we can head due south. So I'm just going to take care of... Because we haven't got a coat at the moment, so I think the first thing we need to do is make sure that we aren't getting too cold. So we'll just leg it hopefully to somewhere a little bit warmer yeah there we go we're getting a little bit warmer now so that's good there's a bunny well that's no good we're not going to be able to do anything with that rabbit hello edgar why is it that my breakfast zombie is always edgar i'm not sure but it seems to be the way have you got my breakfast in your pockets edgar You've got some water, which, you know, is better than nothing. Okay, so we're going to have a little look at the map. Uh, lead fishing weights, not really. We're going to have a little look at the map because what we want to do, really, oh, it looks like this is going to go round and I don't know what, but what we want to do, really, I've decided what I want to do is set up at the hub. A couple of reasons. One, that gives us kind of maximum, it's a long way, maximum, uh, sort of looting distance in all directions. Yeah, that's helpful, isn't it? Uh, whilst keeping us well, well, well away from those irradiated zones around the edge, which as well as being sort of dangerous no-go areas, are also not too great uh, from the point of view of, of sort of bugging out and causing... Um, problems with the graphics, the shadows flickering and what have you, as we've noticed previously. So, oops, a bit this way. So where we are heading for is kind of here-ish. Ish. There we go. Hub Central. Now, it's the hub city, as it were, is not like it used to be in the bad old days. Uh, it's not necessarily the biggest city in the place. In fact, it almost certainly ain't going to be the biggest in the place. Um, and it's also, uh, it won't necessarily even be a city. It will just be a place of some description. But we're fairly sure that there will be a place there. And uh, therefore, you know, uh, that is one place, one location where we can be sure of finding somewhere to set ourselves up. I don't know what kind of thing it's going to be. I don't know what biome it's going to be. I don't know what kind of uh, size of town it's going to be. It probably isn't going to be as good as the one we found in the previous game. But those flickering shadows were going to do my head in. So we were going to have to turn them off, I think. And that wouldn't have stopped my axe, my bow and all my tools from sort of uh, flickering as well. Oh, nice green stuff here. So, yeah, I'm just thinking setting up our big base in the middle of the map going to be nice, going to be good, uh, because then we're going to be able to see... Um, we're going to be able to uh, go in, in all directions, really. So it gives us maximum looting potential, especially once we get ourselves a mini bike. Okay, how are we doing for health? 127 out of 127. Full... Full marks. Oh, look at this, you see? 
my bow is really, really wonky. Look at that. So that is making it kind of difficult. I'll just see if I can get that sorted out. That's better. There we go. There we go. That's better. Sometimes that happens with guns too. Uh, and that can make it, make it quite difficult to aim, actually. Oh, look. You see, I want that. We need that. That's really useful. Ah, okay. I think... We've got loads of rations, haven't we? We've got lamb and we've got chicken. Okay, let's eat one of those. And that's going to fill us up more or less 100% there. Now it has filled us up 100%. There we go, lovely. Job done. Okay, there's only so much emergency food that a woman really needs. And maybe, given we've overfilled ourselves now, we'll, it'll take a while for our hunger to go down. Oops. Or maybe not. I don't know. There we go. And, um, yes, my, my bow is still wobbling a little bit, actually. So, uh... Oh. And it's quite possible we won't get to the hub before... No, we don't want that. Before, uh, day seven. But we've dealt with day seven hordes uh, in the middle of nowhere before. Plenty of times, and I'm pretty sure we can do it again. So... Would you like to be zombie kill number 427? Of course you would. Dying to uh, get on my list, aren't you? Okay, we're going to just drink these. We've actually got two full stacks of water, uh, which is a bit sort of sledgehammer to crack a nut, really. We don't really need it. So what we'll probably do at some point, we'll probably drop one of those. It's just nice to have a good, healthy stack of water jars. You see, that's kind of nice, except... Now, let me just have a look. at either of those, any of those better than what we've actually got? 179, actually, yeah. But, can I even do that? Have I... Oh, now. Ah, I can, actually. Okay, here we go. Let's do this, then. Let me just put that in there. That's going to get scrapped, because it's not as good as the one we've got. It's not like we can... Uh, it's not like we can... Uh, Let's just switch these out then. Could I do that? Yes, I can. Yeah, it's not like we've got a uh, workbench yet to be able to to be able to combine. We haven't. So, and of course we haven't got uh, we haven't got a, a land plane block either. Oh now there's a place here. Good. We could use a place because we could use something to cure this infection of mine. Um, so you can see. The distant... This is why I'm sticking to roads. Because we can see where we're going a bit better. Oh, look at that. Yes, it's alright. I'm actually collecting those. I've actually left the iron arrowheads. And this may or may not be sensible. You see, this has gone wonky again, hasn't it? I think this is one of the things that happens when you're out in the, in the, the, the far reaches of the map. Your bow goes weird like that. Let's just switch it over and see if we can get it straight. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? There we go. That's just going to keep happening, though. And this is one of my bits of rationale for moving upwards. There we go. Better. Central location is best, frankly. There we are. Maybe this is something that we'll get sorted out at some point. Let's hope so, anyway. Lovely. More feathers. How we do for arrows? We do need some more, don't we? Let's make some more arrows. How many can we make? 237. Perhaps not. Let's just make 100 for the mo. There we go, that'll do the job. And then I can collect some more feathers. And I'll I just always have to be collecting stone because we're going to need plenty of stone when we get to, well, when we start building our base up again. So we'll have a check of this, uh, this town ahead of us. Does not look lovely, lovely, lovely. More arrowheads. Mm, feel that quality, Joe. Uh, kicking in. We've got a cabin on the hillside there as well. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to check out this town because if it's got a pop and pills, we got it made, frankly. That's, that's lovely. Look at that. I'm collecting gunpowder. Not sure how useful at this point gunpowder really is to us. Not ever so, to be honest. Though, as I say, I am going to put some skill points into uh, the rifle one. Was it better led than dead? Because I want to get into sniper, sniper rifles, if nothing else. And I'm going to put some uh, skill points into um, science as well. And medicine and things like that. Because they're just useful. Howdy, partner. You're going down, sunshine. 
There we go. Ooh, cash. Grain alcohol. Now, does that have any useful buffs and stuff? It takes away my hydration. It takes well my, away my... Uh, my... Uh, ooh, my wellness as well. I don't want my wellness to go down at this point. I need to get shot of this infection, really. So, fingers crossed, guys, that there is a pop of pills in town up ahead. Uh, I mean, a, a drop would be good, wouldn't it? But we have drops every five days, and what are we on? Day four. So, we're not going to get a drop coming in till day five. Um, but I suppose, you know, uh, if nothing else, we can go chasing off after that in the hopes it's got antibiotics in. They usually do have. Lovely. This is good. This is good. If I break my legs, we can at least fix them if we've got... Oh, there's a wolf ahead. There's a chuffing wolf. I'm not sure if I want to be messing with the wolf. Ta-da! Lovely. Okay, let's make sure he stays down. My bow's gone wonky again. Right, the cave mother, she got nothing. Okay, the wolf has kind of disappeared a little bit, which means that he could quite easily surprise us. Bunny tastic round here, isn't it? I'm not sure if the devs have kind of upped the animal count a little bit. They may have done because uh, it was really very flat indeed. It was really quite sort of low before. Too low, you might even say. Now, this place might be relatively expansive, extensive. I'm not sure. She's down and staying down. Blue skirt. Now, what are we actually wearing? Is that better? No, it's not. Okay, you can keep your skirt. It might look very nice, but who can run in a pencil skirt anyway? Howdy, Steve. Not seen you for a while, pal. Oh, nuts. Oh, yeah. You can roll with the bunches, can't you? There we go. Glue. Nice. Okay, there's a mother here. I don't mind getting my zombie count up. That's fine by me. All good for us. And at the moment, I'm not worrying too much about shivvy the corpses either. There's vultures here. Blah. Ah, vultures. Um, it was one of them that gave me infection in the first place. So I think we'll just... Pass on by if we possibly can and ignore them. Um, yeah, because, uh, yeah, uh, Shiv, yeah, I want to get my blade skill up and stuff. No. Oi! There's one right in my face. There it is. There it is. Right there. What I really need is a spiked club or something to smack it with. But I'm just going to run because, I mean, I know I've already got an infection. I can't catch a second one. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, uh, they can't, they can take a lot of your health away all at once, in point of fact. So, let's just have a look in here. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, not Well, I can't get any of that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Drop. Hey, it's southwest. It's broadly speaking where we want to go. There's a ball there. Okay, so we might just, for the moment at least, ignore this town. We may well be coming back here, folks, but for now we're heading for that drop because if I could take some antibiotics, that would be fantastic. And also, I want to be able to grab um, anything else useful that it might possibly have on it. Now, this looks like... Yeah, this road doesn't go. We're just going to have to go off piece, aren't we? And that's fine by me. We can do that. How are we for coal? 122. Yeah, we could probably uh, probably do with grabbing some more coal while we're out this. Wow, Wolfie. Do you know what? I'd rather take my chances with Steve than the wolf at this point. Wolves aren't that hardy, but they don't have to move fast. No, I don't need your blueberry seeds. At least probably not. Certainly not at this point. Okay, so we will just sidestep the wolf at this point uh, I'm nerfed enough with my infection uh, obviously we've got a full inventory but providing we get shot of any how we do for wood yeah pretty pants we could do with getting some getting some wood while we're here couldn't we 
Wow, this drop's actually really quite a long way away. Um, it better have some antibiotics in it when we finally get there, because uh, it's taking a long, old time to get there. Uh, so it better be worth it. They usually are. There it is. There it is. Um, and as I say, it's more or less in a southerly direction. So, uh, and there's a couple of prefabs of some sort over there. I'm not sure what they are. One might be a trader, I suppose. Right, here we go. Yes! Antibiotics. Now, that will read. That will read. I forgot to check the zombie situation around here. And that one we don't need to read, actually. So we can get rid of that. Now, I need to get shot of something. And I have a feeling it's going to have to be the bottled water. Because we don't actually need that much bottled water. So let's just do that. We don't need to read that. And technically, we don't need the beaker at the moment either so there we are uh, we can cure ourselves now nice cured ah, and breathe a sigh of relief and also we've got some antibiotics which means that we can uh, get rid of any further infections that might uh, <clears throat> that might present themselves so where are we how far from the road are we well it looks like the town we were going through or going towards looks like that town is in the appropriate direction and should have a road coming out the other end of it in a southerly direction as well so maybe we'll head back in that direction we're too hot now of course we are there's our jars of water rolling down the hill as well um so we will head back into town too hot and too cold in the same day that's biomes in temperature for you Okay, if we follow this path, it should take us back into town. Um, I'm just wondering whether we should we should fill those glass jars, but you know what? I don't think we should, because um, every time we drink some water, it will place an empty jar on the stack, whereas it won't do that. Oh, look, an iron fire axe. It's not that great, though, is it? So, actually, I'm just going to scrap it. If it was a really good quality one, I would definitely take it. But uh, as it is, no. Not really worthwhile. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Lots and lots of mushrooms. Lots of dithering shadows. Wow, this is quite a small cave as well. It's just leaving in some water. Which isn't ever so helpful because we'll drown. Yes, you are wet. Yeah, we'll just drown if we go down there. Okay, that happens a lot with caves still. Uh, caves are at least underground nowadays, which is an improvement. Now, I was hoping as well to gather some coal while we're in the plains, because the plains is the place to look for coal, but I haven't actually seen any since we cured ourselves. Ah, here we go. Here's some coal and, of course, a POI, which is like the cave we stayed in last night. So we're not going to do that all over again because we've been there and done that. So, but we are going to collect this coal here, and then we keep ourselves in fuel, so we're able to cook stuff, boil water, etc. It's worth it's a worthwhile thing to carry around with you coal because we need wood for crafting things, making ourselves bows, arrows, axes, all the stuff of survival. And as we all know, wood's pretty hard work to grind now. It's certainly in the early stages before you really get your skill and your tools up. There we go, that'll do. So we've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of coal there. We must have more or less yeah, we've added another hundred onto it anyway, so that's fantastic. So now oh now there's some sort of prefab up ahead and I don't know what it is. It might be a trader station, I suppose. We haven't got much in the way of dukes, have we? No, we've got 164, which is not terrific. Oh, there we go. Um so I if it is a trader station, I'm not sure it's very much use to us at this juncture. Uh but it might be something else, I'm not sure. Oh and there's a road and the road's going southwest. But that road up ahead of us is going exactly south. So that is the direction that we want to go in, actually. Um, and it's raining. Uh, and I suppose we're getting to the point where we need to begin thinking, is that the end of the town? 
No, I'm not sure if it is. Oh gosh, blimey, look at that. I can't see anything. All of a sudden the visibility's gone totally to crap. Okay, that's taking care of you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is or if it's just a couple of random POIs at the side of the road. A couple of random buildings. I'm not sure. Or is it a little hub or something? There's a little farm there. Actually, this is probably the southernmost end of the town. Um, and then the road goes off in that direction, which is absolutely the direction we want to take. And I cannot see, thanks to the visibility having gone to crap, I cannot actually see where, uh, where that... POI was that we were looking at there was some sort of prefab is that it right there or no because we just came past that that's a cave it's what we haven't been by isn't it so I don't know where it is or what it is even so uh, we're at a literal fork in the road here what do we do now well there's maple forest over there which looks kind of nice to me there you go down you go uh, she's got a blue skirt as well, but I dare say that's not any better than what I've... No, it's not. It's not good enough quality, frankly. Oopsie, something went a bit wrong there. There we are. Okay, so, do we go back into the town, or do we carry on southwards and hope that we find ourselves somewhere to hang out overnight? Certainly towns aren't the best place to go. Um, I'm already heading in this direction just because it's south. I am not averse to the idea of stopping somewhere before we get to the hub and going, actually, this is a good place to build. But we have got to get rid of these shadows flickering first. I'm overheating. Really? Really, I'm overheating? Okay, let's just dive in this water. Overheat now. There you go. Okay, visibility better now. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'll be fine with finding somewhere good enough. Uh, but as I say, it's got to be out of the zone where we have bugs with our bows, bugs with our tools. Ooh, can I read that? SMG schematic. Nice, 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 nice. That'll do nicely. Okay, still can't see our prefab or whatever it was. So let's just go up to the top of this hill and then make a decision, final decision on where we're going. A flashlight. That, that's better than the one I've got, actually. So let's switch those over. There we go. Lovely. That's better quality than what I had. Okay. So where are we at? And is there somewhere where we can stay? Well, there's a house over there. Anywhere we go is likely to have, there's a path just up ahead as well, no, I, I don't care about you, I don't care about you pal, uh, is likely to have sleepers in it and stuff, ah, here we go, look, oh, it's, it's got some sort of tower or something, now that's an interesting one, isn't it, okay, we're going this way, we're going to go and check this out, and hopefully not die, what is it, a factory or something, it's actually quite large, which from the point of view of securing it and not dying overnight, it's probably not ideal, to be fair, yeah, 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 we're overheating. Do you know what? I can't actually do anything about that. I really can't. There we go. Oh, it's a trader station. Well, that's no use to us, is it? That is not going to help us out at all. Okay, let's just carry on in case there's somewhere else for us to, to go. If not, we're going to be going up a tree. But trader stations can be a bit funny anyway. They can be a bit of a weird place to stay. Uh, because, yeah, you can end up being transported, teleported. Oh, that's the end of it, is it? That's the end of the path. Oh, well, that's brilliant, that is. That's stunning. Okay. Up a tree, it might have to be then. Yeah, 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 and we're too hot. Let's head back down to the water. But, yeah, even if we were this close, we'd probably end up spending the night being kind of teleported randomly all over the place because the game would decide we were in the trader station so that is not ideal let's head for that house that's by the water's edge uh, or we could spend the night in the water I suppose no zombies are going to be able to get uh, to us then and we're not going to overheat we'd probably freeze instead uh, <laughs> which would be lovely wouldn't it so just watch out for the cacti at this point oh there's a zombie there as well let's just try to ignore that for the moment 
because it's getting a bit late to be attracting zombies. Yes, we know we're hot. We just lurch from one crisis to the next, don't we really? Okay, let's let's swim for it. And then we'll cool down a bit. There we go. So, I'm just going to swim over here. You cannot br what? I can't breathe. Yeah, I can, surely. I'm above the water, am I not? Yes, I'm above the water, very definitely. So I'm not sure what the cannot breathe bit is about. Buggy out, I imagine. Okay, so we're not going to get to this place in time, obviously. We can but hope, I suppose, that it doesn't have any zo zombies in it. But there's fat chance of that, frankly. It's going to have, isn't it? And I can even see a zombie on the bank, look. Bannister. Okay, well, we're going to try and take a pot shot at it before we get to her. No, missed her again. Kind of difficult when you're bobbing up and down, isn't it, really? Okay, let's put our light on. You look even worse in the glare of my light, don't you? In point of fact, oh, look at that, lamb rations. Hmm. Well, we don't need any more. We've got four of the other types, so that's fine. In point of fact, I've got a torch in my uh, inventory, and I probably don't actually technically need it because... Uh, because uh, we've got... Yeah, we've... Oh, look, we're going to have to kill some of these, aren't we? There's some zombies outside, never mind, in it. There we go. And he's jumping up and down on a cactus, which means he's probably half dead already. There we go. Die, pal, die. At least he's not going to start running at me. Die. Die! Oh, my goodness, he's not taking a hint, and I can't hit him in the face. Uh, it's really too late for me to be doing this to it. Okay, so what we're going to do here, sneak mode, engage sneak mode, and uh, basically we're going to go up onto the roof, because I think that's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. I might be wrong here, but hey. Oh, yep, that's what I meant, that there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go up onto the roof. And then we'll probably be fine here. Um, I would imagine we'll be fine here. Uh, <laughs> it's perfectly safe, uh, especially if I turn off my my torch. And uh, yes, uh, we've we've spent the night on top of buildings before. I'm sure there's some sleeper zombies inside. Um, I might have to investigate. Well, we'll investigate the inside the building in the morning. I think to see if there's any useful loot in there. Uh, but mainly what we're wanting to do, let's just take a bit of a look at the map. We're wanting to get back to this road, which is going dead straight uh, downwards, down south. What is that? What is that? That is bizarre. I have never been there. Why is there a teeny bit of the map, which is just, which I've, I don't know. Oh, the only thing I could think is because I transported our character into here that must have been where i originally spawned in and i then immediately uh changed our character data and our character was way 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 up there by uh by the borders so that that will be what that is all about but actually yep yeah, that's the same road by the look of it so in the next episode we'll be following we'll continue to follow our road south um yes uh, all the way down here. We'll check out the, uh, the the POI we're in now. We did not check out this town here. We know it's there, however. It's not in an ideal location. We've got a good mixture of um, good mixture of, uh, of, uh, of biomes. We've got desert and we've got plains and we've got forest and there's also water nearby. But we do still have the flickering shadows bug. We are still sort of relatively far. Um, I see, I don't think we're that close to the borders now so we should be getting to the point really where uh, we don't we stop seeing that bug anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed this episode if you did you know what to do hit that like button and let me know and keep giving me your hints tips comments suggestions and share your gameplay experiences and i do hope to see you in the next episode until then keep gaming keep surviving and stay happy bye bye for now